My name is Norma Iabode Jackson. I'm going to be presiding uh, this evening at a very, very special event, and we are so glad that all of you have taken time out of your busy schedules to come and celebrate with us. I'm just very fortunate and blessed to be here, especially with Mrs. Alice Coachman and my, one of my best dear friends now, Ms. Lula Glenn. Um, we're very fortunate in this community to have so many legacies and so many great uh, heroes, and our heritage is so thick and so long that we fail at times to really recognize it. We take it for granted uh, when you have had people like these two people who have made it seem so easy and effortless with their, with, with their achievements. You have one who at one time might have been one of the fastest females on the planet, yeah. Mrs. Lula Glenn, who ran a 11.5 back in the late 30s and, and, and 40s, and a high jumper who really, when you see how her technique was, she might have these days been jumping with some of the best anyway. She was jumping over bars as if you would jump over a chair, and she broke a world's record and set a gold record, a gold medal uh, award uh, in London in 1948 with a jump of 5-4, I believe it was. 5-5, five, 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 excuse me, let's refer, 5-6. Uh, let me make sure that we have that correct. But um, they did it so effortlessly, it seems as it is, it's just natural for us to be great, but it's not, it took a lot of hard work a lot of time. Um, they had great people who were inspired them and were behind them, like Major Abbott. Um, they had great teammates, uh, they, but they had a great community behind them, and that's what we have now. But we have to go back and change and pull that back, too. We have a great community, but we forgot our legacies. We don't cherish our heritage, and that's what we need to do now. And again, I'm not going to be long because this belongs to these great ladies and the students that are here to kind of speak a little bit about what this means to them because it's, it's about the two. It's about our past and it's about our future. And they two represent each other. And I just want to thank you, Ms. Glenn and Mrs. Coachman for spending this time with us today. It, it absolutely means a lot to me. And I, you know what I told you in the class, so you know I don't want to be too long. So, so, so I just want to thank you both. And uh, we'll let the youngsters take it from here. Next on the program, we have a very special, um, a very special uh, presentation to be made by some young people who are students at Tuskegee University. A part of the vision of the Tuskegee Volunteer Power Corporation is to create a community campus partnership. If there's anyone in here who grew up in Tuskegee during the time that I grew up in the, uh, I was born in 1953, so if you grew up in the 60s and 70s and the uh, early 80s, you know that there was no line of demarcation that separated Tuskegee University then institute from the community. I grew up playing on the campus of the university, going to movies at the university, going to hear great speakers like Adam Clayton Powell. When I was a child growing up in this community, so one of the things that we want to recreate is a campus community partnership. And we have two young ladies here who will speak to you as members of the Tuskegee Volunteer Power Corps student wing. We have Ms. Nicole Fallon who will be followed by Ms. Shakura Umi.